He's gonna make a TikTok out of this. How'd you manage to get whiskey? Ladies and gentlemen, the ceremony is about to start, and the bride and groom wanted an unplugged ceremony. So, time to put your phones down, turn them into the off position. Uh, if Andrew comes down here and sees a phone up, he is chucking it into the ocean. Uh, they hired uh, amazing photographer Christian, who's gonna be capturing the moment. They'd like you to be in the moment with them. Uh, so please keep your cameras, your phones down, and we'll get this started. So I want my phone turn off, so it keeps going to that. Come on, Cindy. Oh my Point. gosh. <laughs> I am an Anakin. <laughs> Pull it together. I can't. This stupid thing is going to go crazy. The Andy's going to throw my phone in the ocean. I'll throw it. Why Give won't it turn off? <laughs> Have an issue turning my phone off before? Thank you. 
gather as a community of family and friends and feel ripples of excitement and tremors of joy as we celebrate the marriage of Andrew and Kaylee. God has created a world of harmony, soaring birds, the roaring ocean, brisk wind, endless sand, each unique, each relationship in harmony with the others. God's first gift was breathing life into humans and turning us toward each other to live in equality and unity. Andrew and Kaylee, have come here to affirm their love for each other and enter into this sacred union. Marriage is a gift. Marriage is an opportunity for love to be learned. Marriage is a journey in which we as the travelers are faced with many choices and are responsible for these choices. Marriage is a call to servanthood. Marriage is a call to friendship. Marriage is a call to suffering. Marriage is not an event but a way of life. Marriage involves intimacy in all areas for it to be fulfilling. Today, Andrew and Kaylee, you come together bringing all of you to this marriage, all of your wonderful parts, all of your hurts and pains. You especially bring today all of your hopes and dreams for this marriage. You both have tremendous faith in each other as you trust your future to the other's care, and you have excellent reasons for believing you belong together, but you have no guarantees. Instead, you stand together about to accept on faith the challenge of creating your future together. Faith is the assurance of things hoped for. You marry in faith that God has called you to live as one, and you promise to be faithful to one another in big things as well as small. Your constant faith in each other will give form and substance to the beautiful hopes you have for your future. Faith is the conviction of things not seen. Unless you're an unusual couple, at times your marriage won't look anything like the vision you celebrate today may not feel much evidence of the love you now feel so keenly. At such a time, remember this moment. Remember the hopes and dreams that have been entrusted to your care. Marriage begins with a leap of faith that says, I will, before an unknown and unknowable future. Marriage is about being full of faith or faithful to one another. Faithfulness respects each other's ideas and feelings, keeps each other's secrets, guards each other's dignity, and honors each other in public and in private. Faithfulness is built from 10,000 minute acts of trust and trustworthiness. In such faith, you'll find the fulfillment of all the hopes and dreams you have today. May God bless you both. Amen. Amen. Andrew and Kaylee, have you come here freely and without reservation to join together lawfully in marriage? If so, say, I have. I have. I have. Before God and family and friends, I ask you to affirm your vows to each other as you enter into this covenant of marriage and begin to share all the joys of this new relationship, whatever the future may hold. Andrew Dwight Moore, do you take Kylie Madison, Kaylee, Kaylee.
Lady <laughs> Madison Hole to be your wedded wife, to live together in marriage. You promise to love her, comfort her, honor and keep her for better or worse, for richer or poorer, in sickness and health, and forsaking all others, be faithful only to her for as long as you both shall live. I do. And Kaylee Madison Pohl, do you take Andrew Dwight Moore to be your wedded husband, to live together in marriage, do you promise to love him, comfort him, honor and keep him, for better or worse, for richer or poorer, in sickness and health, and forsaking all others, be faithful only to him for as long as you both shall live. May I have the rings? <laughs> These rings are an outward and visible sign of an invisible truth which binds two hearts in one. As such, they are the symbols of the enduring and unending quality of the love which is now expressed between Andrew and Andrew, repeat after me. Kaylee, Kaylee, this ring I give you, this ring I give you, is my personal gift, is my personal gift, my personal promise, my personal promise, of love, trust, and pride, of love, trust, and pride, that you are my wife, that you are my wife. These are the hands of your best friend, young and strong and full of love for you, that are holding yours on your wedding day as you promise to love each other today, tomorrow, and forever. These are the hands that will work alongside yours as together you build your future. These are the hands that will passionately love you and cherish you through the years and with the slightest touch will comfort you like no other. These are the hands that will hold you when fear or grief fills your mind. These are the hands that will countless times wipe the tears from your eyes tears of sorrow, tears of joy. These are the hands that will tenderly hold your children. These are the hands that will help you hold your family as one. These are the hands that will give you strength when you need it. And lastly, these are the hands that even when wrinkled and aged, will still be reaching for yours, still giving you the same unspoken tenderness with just a touch. separate lives together. The separate bottles of sand symbolize your separate lives, separate families, separate sets of friends. These bottles represent all that you are and all that you'll ever be as an individual. They also represent your lives before today. As you take these containers of sand and pour them into the main container, the individual containers of sand will no longer exist, but will be joined together as one. Just as these grains of sand can never be separated and poured again into the individual containers, so will your marriage be. Corinthians 13, 4 to 8 says, Love is patient, love is kind, love is not envious or boastful or arrogant or rude. It does not insist on its own way. 
It is not irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice in wrongdoing, but rejoices in the truth. It bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never ends. Andrew and Kaylee, in the future, happy occasions will come as surely as the morning. Difficult times will come as surely as the night. To say the words love and compassion is easy, but to accept that love and compassion are built upon patience and perseverance is not easy. Andrew and Kaylee, and as much as you declared your willingness to enter the state of marriage with each other, declared the same in the company of God and these witnesses, by the virtue of authority vested in me as an ordained minister and by the state of Florida, I pronounce you husband and wife, united in the pure and holy bonds of wedlock, but God is joined, let no one separate, go forth in this life as husband and wife with the blessing of God, be loving, patient, and kind, and above all, forgive one another as God has forgiven you. It's my pleasure to introduce to you all for the first time, Mr. and Mrs. Andrew and Kaylee Moore. Andrew, you may kiss your bride. Thank you. 